guys so in this video i'm going to be discussing whatever we have learned in the past few weeks as a quick recap or a quick summary so that whenever you all come across this video it will be really helpful to revise manufacturing accounts okay so what did we learn yes manufacturing accounts is what we learned let me make myself smaller so this size should do okay so guys we learned there is a main difference between a normal ordinary buying and selling business and a manufacturing business so we looked at toyota for example and compared it with ss groceries that is located in colombo 15 right so guys the way we calculate cost of sales was very different when you compare ss groceries with toyota right so here we had to take the purchases and here we had to take the cost of manufacturing we looked at the format and we learned the reasons why we prepare manufacturing accounts the cost classification methods because this is the basics guys this is where you uh, know which will be which cost elements will be treated as manufacturing cost and which will be written away in the pnl so we looked into the format we also looked into the provision for unrealized profits adjustment we did a couple of questions guys so today we are here for a quick summary so guys what is manufacturing cost manufacturing cost is guys the total prime cost with that you add the factory overheads and adjust for the work in progress inventory level differences so what is in there inside prime cost one is direct materials so how do you calculate direct materials cost guys i all i told you all that we should always ignore the purchases amount because whatever you buy is not your not something that will be used right so here we are not taking the raw material purchases but what we will be doing is we will be trying to find out the cost of raw materials that were actually consumed so how can you do that very simple you have your opening inventory of raw materials okay so with this you will be adding the purchases and if there was any purchase returns you can deduct it here okay so then you can take the net purchases and then if there was any carriage in words carriage in words is the amount you pay for shipment okay for your supplier or the vendor to distribute the goods or to uh, deliver the goods at your doorstep you will be paying an amount the shipping cost so this is carriage in words also guys then what is carriage outwards carriage outwards is guys the cost incurred when you deliver the finished goods to your customers okay so when you get carriage outwards guys always remember it will be treated as a distribution cost okay so it will not be taken to the manufacturing cost so after you have ordered all these cost guys now you can deduct the closing raw material so this should give you guys direct materials consumed you should be adding direct labor and you should be adding direct other expenses as well examples include royalty and we have to add the factory overheads so what is factory overheads all the production overheads are called factory overheads right so in the past in the last week before that we uh, in our main classes we have already looked at what is factory overheads and not what is non production overheads and then is it done yet no opening work in progress minus closing work in progress so here is where you have to adjust for the inventory level differences in the work in progress right so if your closing work in progress levels have dropped when compared to opening work in progress you will be treating it as a cost okay but whereas your closing work in progress levels have increased when compared to your opening work in progress levels then you will be treating at a, as a reduction in the cost so this should give you the total manufacturing cost but is this what we take to the trading account or the pnl no we will be adding a markup why is this markup added guys so this is an incentive so this is something to incentivize the factory workers okay so they will be selling with a markup so this transaction is happening internally within the company so the factory is keeping a profit and then selling to the selling division or maybe the warehouse right so guys in the income statement we should be taking the total manufacturing cost which is valued at the transfer price okay so in your cost of sales you will be taking the total manufacturing cost at the transfer price but guys is this right no 
because this was a transaction that took place within the organization. In order to rectify this guys, we will be adjusting the trading profit by adding it back. Since we have treated it as a cost inside the cost of sales, we will be adding it back. We will be adding trading profit back after we've calculated the gross profit. Okay? And then we deduct all these non-production overheads guys. Uh, any overheads that is not that is that was not incurred in the factory or during the production process will be treated uh, as non-production overheads right and after doing all of these guys now I told you all total manufacturing cost is valued at transfer price which is something wrong when you prepare the income statement for the entire company you cannot show that because this was a transaction that took place within the organization not between the organization and a third party or a customer okay but guys there is another problem lying around here which is we have valued the opening finished goods and closing finished goods at the transfer price okay so this is also valued at transfer price this is also valued at transfer price so in order to adjust for this we will have to guys calculate the provision for unrealized profits so in the income statement you need to adjust for the increase or decrease in provision for unrealized profits okay so if your inventory levels have increased then your provision for unrealized profits would have increased then it will be treated like an expense if your closing finished goods levels have dropped then your provision for unrealized profits would have dropped then you will be treating it as an income so guys the closing provision for unrealized profits amount will be deducted from the finished goods amount inside the current assets in your balance sheet okay so with that guys this is it yes this is it this is how you arrive at the net profit for a manufacturing business also guys few more things to keep in mind what concepts are related to provision for unrealized profits there is prudence concept so what does this say in layman terms guys prudence concept says not to be over optimistic okay only if you realize something only if you have earned something you can show that but if you foresee any losses then you should record it so that's what prudence concept says you cannot underestimate bad things while you cannot overestimate good things at the same time there is another concept which is something you have to keep in your mind realization concept so this concept says guys only after you have sold the goods to an outside customer you can realize the profit so therefore these two concepts right these two concepts are forcing us or uh, these two concepts are encouraging us to adjust for the provision for unrealized profits also guys after this guys when you look at the manufacturing accounts uh, questions you all may see or come across accruals and prepayments of expenses okay so this is for expenses most of the time because we are dealing with manufacturing accounts not uh, income statement guys so when there is a closing accruals you will be adding it with the expenses okay so it treated as an expense you will be adding it with the payments account balance if there was an opening accruals you will do the opposite whereas if there was a prepayment you have paid for the next period okay so that means if that is inside your payments account then you should be deducting it okay it's a cost reduction you should be adjusting the payments amount if there was an opening prepayment then you should be adding it back to your expenses amount so this is how you arrive at your expenses for the year under accruals basis when you come across these adjustments in the manufacturing accounts questions so guys hope all these summary right help you all uh, as a bird's eye view of manufacturing accounts hope this will help you all and i will don't worry i will be sharing these handouts with you all but make sure to try the homework question so that we can discuss the questions first before starting with a new chapter in our next class see you guys see you all soon